sitting on the chest making my life very difficult. Not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. It's definitely dark out here now. Going to use some wood to make a couple of doors. Oops. That's not how you make a door. You're probably wondering, doors? It's a nifty little trick. Especially good for building underwater, which we are going to start, I think I want to start building right here in this almost perfectly circular patch of sand. If you come down here, and I'm going to start building around the outside of this, but uh, as you can see, this nifty little thing here. Well, that's not quite where I meant to place that door. Squid! Why you push me? I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick this door back up very easily. Come on. Okay. The squid has got to go. Break. Now, there we go. Give ourselves a nice little air pocket to work with. Now, I need to figure out how I want to build this, which I think I'm going to do three on the outsides. And I want to level this whole little area out a bit. So, sorry about now, I wish I had an Aqua Affinity Elm with respiration. Okay. I'm gonna... I wanna try something. Never tried this before. And I know... I know it's not just trying to build a dirt roof and hoping it stops the water. It's a little bit more advanced than that. The dirt roof is just to make sure the uh, the water above me doesn't come pouring down upon my head. But, uh... I need some light. Hmm... And we have light! Not quite in the way I originally intended to get light down here. I knew I should have picked up those pumpkins on the way here, but then I would have had to ditch something. Which I could have ditched that seven glass, but... No. Just... just no. Shit, 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 shit. We're cool. We are cool. Now, first things first. Hmm... does not appear to be working quite the way I had hoped. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually build a box. Hmm. Well, isn't this a bit unfortunate? But, uh, I do need a kind of underwater establishment here, so... This is also part of the reason why I brought a lot of dirt. It's very easy to place, it's very easy to pick back up, and it will serve nicely for these purposes. So I'm going to need, well, hopefully, get some more air. 
hopefully I won't have too much of an issue once I'm done here with all of this expanding in the future that right there's a little bit uh, cheaty now this first few episodes of building this I want to record all of it because it's actually going to be different it's not just building it's squid yep it is squid but no it's uh, more difficult than standard building and it's not very often done large underwater structure structures structures that is and I mean large like this when you think of like the movies and you think of underground base that's what I want to go for so it's going to be pretty big there's going to be a lot of glass and unconnecting channels and stuff which is why I was worried about having a nearby desert so now you know on that part too Yeah, I'm aware the stupid dirt doesn't want to leave me alone. Not dirt, water. I will get rid of all of it. I promise you that. Eventually, really? Oh, come on. Yo. Know, there's water directly above this block. There's water over there. One wrong move, and I will get an entire ocean of water down upon my head. Of course, so apparently I can get a small ocean of water upon my head, anyhow. Now, I don't remember... Okay, yeah. That's good. Now, this will allow us a little bit of a base of operations under the water. I can take these down. And I can place them on either side. Just as regular functioning doors. Huh. Sorry about that brief interruption that I just had there. My uh, brother kind of showed up and he was saying how uh, he's buying a hard drive because... Well, he bought a hard drive because his computer is crap. His hard drive died on him. And I'm pretty much the tech person of the family. So, yeah... I get to deal with fixing everybody's problems. Now, I don't even know if I've got this building. It's very hard to see what I'm doing underwater. So, yeah, that's fun. Mm. Well, it's not going to be an amazing building, but. It'll be okay, I suppose. And if I'm worried about the height, I can always dig down. But it's not symmetrical. Because as you can see, there is a fairly large difference going on here. The breath bar is really annoying. I suppose that's the reason why this is so difficult. In and out, in and out. I, you know, I'm just not even going to comment on that statement I just said. I'm sure somebody will come up with some kind of statement to uh, say on their own about it. Oh. Oh. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Now. This is going to be slightly annoying to build. I almost want to try and get the, like... I don't even know if I want to build a dome. I almost kind of want to just make boxes. Not because boxes are easier, but because domes are annoying. 
I should just build a gigantic box. They're easier to make symmetrical. And yeah, okay. Now here we go. Send it out to there. Mark the middle point because I'm going to need to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that'll make this final room 16 by 16. It's a square. And then I guess I can pyramid the roof up. It won't be quite a dome, but it'll be like a, a boxy dome mask. And I guess it'll be 17. So if I said 8, I need to go 8 in the other way. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That. Something's wrong here. And I think it's the fact that I'm trying to build underwater. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's the problem. It's not eight, it's six. But I kind of want it to be eight, so I'm going to make it eight. It is now 8. This is going to be a 17 by 17 box by the time I'm done with it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Oop, that's not good. Over here, little trick. And if I keep building this too high, I'll be able to do that the whole way along it. With relative ease. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh, so difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, this is going to be kind of difficult. Okay, there's an easy way of doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I just have to link up the sides. Which shouldn't be too terribly hard, I hope. See it? I can see it. It goes to here. No, it goes to here. That makes this a little bit faster doing it like this. Which, anything that makes building and underwater construction faster is a good thing. Of course, so I couldn't have made an Aqua Affinity and Respiration Helm because that would have given away my whole idea before I even started. Well, I'm sure what I was describing kind of gave it away, but, eh. This is going to be kind of difficult, building this whole thing underwater. I thought about going the whole way up to the surface, clearing it out, you know, emptying out the entire inside, building the structure. Oh, this is going to hurt. Building the structure, and then uh, what I could do is, this is all, most of this is going to be replaced by glass, by the way. But then I could just put water in afterwards, but that might take just as long as building it underwater, to be honest. Because then I have to fill the entire box in, which I'm going to have to do anyhow. But I can fill it in with pretty much anything, even dirt. And, yeah, I'm probably going to make a swim-in entrance. That'll be fun. Uh, I think I'll make the inside walls three high, which means they're, these are actually going to be a little bit too high. But 
because I want to dig this floor down one more. Yeah, I can play a torch and place a torch in there and give myself some light. Okay. I'm gonna do this one little wall section at a time. I'm gonna end up running out of dirt, which is impressive. Okay, now down, 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 down. Oh, that's not quite the way I was hoping for that to turn out. How's that for a nifty use for torches? to start. Whoops. Don't do that. Okay. Starting to make progress. Not being very talkative. I'm sorry about that. And it is apparently very difficult to fill in the water with torches. Let's try doing this in sections, shall we? Oh. Or that. I'll take that. That'll work. Now, yeah, as I expected, right through here is another issue. Okay, making some extremely slow progress. Let's see how bad this looks from the outside. Oh, this is going to take a lot of work to do, but I mean that's that's going to be the base structure right there. I mean it's going to be a pretty good size underwater house, and then there's going to be tunnels leading off to smaller uh, little extensions from it and whatnot. There's a spider over there. My cat is completely unprotected. Nothing cares about him. Hey, you. Can't you see I'm busy eating bread here? Jeez. I'm nervous some of these monsters. But, uh... There's gonna be a lot of filling this in and whatnot. And when I get it fairly filled in, I shall update you guys. I'm gonna call it call this it for this episode. Uh, there'll be another episode whenever I've got significant progress on this because, as you can tell, it's going to be very time-consuming. It's not going to be something that's gonna happen overnight. Well, technically, it could happen overnight, but not Minecraft night. Considering, as you can tell, I'm getting a little bit more aggressive, you could say, on my, uh, building. Okay, I lied. We're gonna fill in one more area with air. Air. Rhea. Oh. See what I did there? We'll fill this in till I am trapped in one tiny little box. Which is quickly approaching. Seem to have missed some spots, one of which being where I was standing. Ok, 
Okay. Whoops. I did it again. Ah! Just fill in, would you? Please and thank you. Okay. Woohoo! We've now connected. Can break down this little wall right here. Oh, there's a hole. Fill this area with some torches so it's lit up. And uh, we'll call this episode good right here. And I will work on filling in the entire area, getting the water out of it. It's going to be very time consuming. You've already seen my terrible, terrible method for it. But uh, we'll see you guys next time.